finally we can use displacement in the shader with EV Next. I'm using Blender 4.2 Beta. A link to that in the description. Uh, let's delete everything and add a plane. Scale it up. Then press Ctrl A, apply the scale. I'm going to open the shader editor. Create the material. Now change to material preview. And we can pick a color. Now shift A and we can add a noise texture. Also a displacement node. Now connect the texture to height, then displacement to displacement in material output. In material properties, under settings, find displacement and change it to displacement and bump. Now we need to subdivide the plane. Right click, subdivide. Also, we need a subdivision surface modifier. And now, in displacement node, we can play with the strength. In the noise texture, we can control the scale. We can increase the detail. And I'm going to change to render preview. In world properties, add environment texture. and choose your HDR image. Lower the strength of the light. And now we can add the sunlight. We can increase subdivision levels. Uh, the more, the better resolution, but it will slow down the computer. So we can keep a lower resolution in the viewport and increase the levels for final render. Now we can add a color ramp. And move the black color to flatten some parts and make the ground. And I'm going to change the black to a lighter color. Now move the white color so we can flatten the top of the mountains. Now click the plus button to create a new color. Move it to the right to smooth the edges. Now create one more color, but this time move it to the left so we can get more details on the ground.
and we can also change to 4D and use the W to randomize it. If you want to use a color texture, select the principal shader and press Ctrl T. If Ctrl T doesn't work, make sure Node Wrangler is enabled in Preferences add-ons. And select your texture. Now repeat the texture if you need. We can get rid of the background in render properties. Under film, enable transparent. And for my scene, I used a water plane. Uh, for this, we need a dark color, zero roughness, and just drop a noise texture. Then from high, connect to a bump node and connect to normal in the shader. We can also choose the strength, also scale the noise texture. For the atmosphere, it's a cube with a principal volume connected to volume in material output. Just choose the color and use a low density value. Uh, to use PBR textures, select the principal shader and this time press Ctrl Shift T and select the textures and make sure to select the displacement map too. The same as before, in material properties, we have to change to displacement and bump. In case you're wondering, um, there's no way to convert it to mesh, so if you need to export for games, for Unreal or Unity, um, it won't work. Um, this is only for Blender, okay? Thank you for watching. See you.